Okay, beautiful people out there. Good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are watching us live at this time, we broadcast live from Lagos, Nigeria. And uh, of course, the usual is what we have at the table today. Uh, as regards the happening in the country, I will be giving you just from various um, news, uh, online news outlets, uh, starting from Vanguard, Punch, uh, of course, China's, and some of that uh, news uh, uh, platform out there. Of course, it's not a news that uh, the that happened in Nigeria is still ongoing, and uh, of course, the U.S. Uh, um, evacuating their uh, non-emergency staff, and of course, the ECOWAS additional sanctions in this um, environment, and uh, of course, we saw even the meeting that was held in Abuja, Burkina Faso, Nigeria, and uh, other country they couldn't they couldn't join because of. Uh, the, what is happening in the country right now. And of course, in Nigeria, we saw yesterday that uh, NSC uh, actually insists on the uh, uh, protest and uh, the kind of protest all over across the states. And uh, it was it was massive. Though the, the in Lagos transport worker didn't join because uh, the Achama in terms of MC Lomon has advised not to join the protest because of uh, that uh, the Lagos state government has uh, put in place uh, a, a palliative measure to caution the effects of transportation and all that, that um, that uh, uh, that the percentage the ticket normally by the uh, uh, various uh, parts uh, that they have given discounts some by fifty percent by twenty five percent. So as a result, that the children embark on the strike. But the question of that, uh, as regard that order, is uh, who if the BRT has been, uh, the ticket price has reduced, fine. But the yellow buses, the commercial buses, with the reduction of that ticket, how will it help them? Because I say buying for them at the current price. So that's a question in the mouth of everybody. So is this gonna help? The call was put across days and all that just to be sure if this has reflected in any way, not a possibility complain that the price of uh, of vehicle uh, price, where uh, price from transporting from one region to another so remain the same. So we don't know how that's going to help because if at all that is done, uh, it means that's on that way of subsidizing fuel by state government. So we don't know. The, um, the NSC they have come out and said, okay, fine, they have um, uh, met with the government and, uh, and uh, the plans, what they have demanded for that that's in place. So these are all in the news. Uh, so the will kick starts with the various headlines so you can see what we have today. Of course, we are watching Prime Media Studio. And uh, to start with, to start with, we have the story from the Vanguard News uh, platform, uh, COP, Nigeria cut power supply to the Jewish Republic. So this, it's part of the measure, the sanctions that ECOWAS have decided to press. Of course, Tinubu is the ECOWAS chairman. So, and Nigeria have been supplying uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an agreement. Nigeria have been supplying light to Niger, and they have decided to uh, use this light measure to uh, to see if the military junta can reverse and restate the deposed. Uh, 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 um, Democratically elected president of Niger. But of course, the military over there, they are talking tough and they are not backing down anytime soon. That's why you see that uh, uh, we can see that the US, they're evacuating, that is on the national, the nation newspaper, US orders official out of Niger. So it means that uh, it's not over. You can see that on the screen. You can see that it's not over yet because uh, if this is happening, US are asking their non -offic uh, officials out of Niger and on that contract the same it means that uh, it's just the beginning of the whole uh, uh, story in that uh, re region so so you have it the cop still hitting up then uh, coming back to the issue of labor and the NLC we can see that subsidy removal labor suspend nationwide strike so labor have decided to suspend the strike based on the the government uh, intervention. So yesterday, 
before now, the meeting has been with the labor and by the way, the, 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 the chief of staff of the president, all this why. And as of yesterday, the president decided to meet them one on one, accept pleasantry, and made promises uh, to them to reinforce the promise they had made earlier. And that has, that is what labor have decided, why they have decided to call the strike. Uh, yeah, suspension, uh, they didn't call it, they suspended. So if government don't meet up uh, with expectations, they might likely the impact on the, on the strike. Okay, so that's uh, on the Vanguard uh, news platform. And of course, like I said earlier, this on the nation newspaper, we saw that uh, uh, still on the protests. So the workers stormed the streets in states. So most of the states, if you have seen the video, you will know that uh, indeed the workers actually come out in troops, in numbers, large numbers, and they were everywhere just to show that uh, they made business and uh, made threats from different angles. So uh, some of these states where they actually uh, came out, we saw Lagos, of course, Lagos is there. Then uh, uh, Nasarawa, uh, yeah, Nasarawa, uh, Niger, uh, of course, Oshun, Eboin, Adamawa, so on, even Edo State, Paisa Plateau, Abia, Ogo State, this Kaduna Delta, this are the area where uh, this protest really took place. And there was uh, a lot of places, you can see that on the news, news, national newspaper, uh, most of the states where uh, the where the 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 protest took uh, took place. So uh, so it, according to Labour, it was a good acting, and they have achieved uh, their aim uh, based on the promises they received from the uh, uh, from from the government. Okay, so moving on now to the Chinese uh, news platform. Online broadcast that DSS not an island. ESC can't continue to disobey court orders. It's uh, Mr. Fag Bemi speaking here, uh, one of a ministerial nominee from Kwara State, uh, Latif uh, Fag Bemi. So during the interrogation, he says that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commissions and the Department of State Security Service that uh, cannot continue to disobey court orders uh, because they are also uh, 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 from the law. That uh, his own opinion was that uh, you can't just go and arrest somebody before carrying an investigation. You ought to have investigated the sure of the crime first before you go in ahead to arrest such person. So these are one of his uh, uh, his response when he was being uh, interrogated for his uh, ministerial position uh, at the national uh, assembly. So of course, uh, when he was coming, uh, we read from the news that uh, a lot of uh, senior advocates were with him to that uh, event. So there we have it. Of course, uh, indeed. Uh, you have to be sure of someone's crime before going to arrest the person. You can just go there and arrest somebody and start putting out carrying an investigation, and that person will not be in detention lawfully. So this is uh, what he's part of the thing he talked about at that uh, screening uh, screening exercise. Okay, you can see the full gist of that story uh, from the uh, uh, Chinese news uh, online platform. Uh, still moving on. Uh, I think uh, most of the story that dominated the, the, the news as of yesterday and today has been the protest. All workers will appear in court for federal government's contempt suit. So why, uh, let's say, why, why this was the, the this protest was um, planned uh, to commence, start well, about to commence by the NLC. Uh, federal governments, of course, went to court to file a uh, case of contempt against uh, labor. And now we can see labor saying that, okay, there's no problem. We are going to go to court, but every organs of NLC and Nigerians will be at the court premises on that day. That uh, even the airport and the seaport and uh, all the uh, uh, bodies we be at the uh, court uh, for the uh, case of uh, contempt. So there, there we have it. That's what the NLC have said. So. They are going to answer it, but according to them, they are going in a mass. So, so that story is on the local um, Chinese news platform also. So, yeah, of course, I think I mentioned this uh, earlier during the introduction. Um, you can see this on the Punch News Online. Uh, Niger, Nigeria cuts power supply. ECOWAS vowed to confront Junta. So, of course, Nigeria have 
cut the power supply to Niger because Niger actually depends on the, about forty percent of Nigerian. Uh, out of the 100%, they get 60% of electricity from Nigeria. And that has been uh, one of the major that the, the, the COAS has pressurized the chairman of the body, which is Nigeria, to do, to cut off power supply. All this is just to pressure uh, the military junta to be able to uh, reinstate the, uh, the austed uh, president. So, and of course, this in also we saw earlier that uh, Niger have also stopped uh, the exporting of uh, 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 their material to France. Uh, so that's it's, it's heating up, and uh, we don't know where the pendulum is going to swing. And of course, uh, it is uh, it's not uh, easy over there. And of course. Uh, let's just move on to the next story. You can see that story on Punch News Online. So we're looking at the second story of Dr. Bat, uh, how will be found missing phones at Tribuna. So uh, before now, uh, the story right was, was trending all over yesterday that uh, Obi's phone was stolen at the uh, court premises. And uh, uh, then today we're hearing that uh, it wasn't actually stolen. It was uh, one of the aides that picked up the phone because a lot of people were it was a strange pleasantry with a lot of people there and uh, the phone was on the table so he had to just take the phone away from the table to avoid uh, the phone maybe stolen or missing so he went to eat himself at the restroom so why peter was uh miss peter was uh, looking for the phone on the desk so uh, eventually he came back and, and the phone was uh, restored but so it wasn't stolen so that's the news that uh, you can't get the details of that story uh, from the punch news online then, of course, uh, look at the next story uh, that talked about uh, a troops rescue for kidnapped victims, destroy bandits' dens in Kaduna. Of course, you know, Kaduna is a hotbed for this um, uh, bandits and other criminal elements. And now we can see that uh, uh, the troops, the reports coming in that uh, they were able to rescue some of the victims that were that was in kidnapped then, and they, they and they, they, by there was an exchange of fire. Uh, they got the information, and they got there, the military got there, and they exchanged some fires and were able to rescue this uh, uh, kidnapped uh, bit from that uh, environment. So it's a, it's a good news in that regard. You know, uh, I think with this, a lot of these criminal elements will desist from the, uh, uh, you know, perpetrating this kind of wickedness in those uh, areas. So there you have it. Uh, you've been watching the Prime News News. And um, yeah, just a bit, just for you to have an idea what's going on in the country and so on. So we're going to call it a day here at this time. Of course, we'll be coming away with other fantastic stories. And of course, our DJs, uh, of course, they're all in the top gear to give you beautiful songs to dance to. And of course, coming the comedian Shakiz, always uh, are here, uh, giving you, you know, cracking up your ribs. Because uh, if you look, if you read story, if you look at what's happening in the whole world and you don't, laugh you might not you'll be having troubles okay so we have comedians coming here to come and give you uh get you uh laughing and so on and so forth so it's been prosper mike here from prime media studio of course with my able cameraman that double as a producer also uh james uh, giving you the best we can here and of course more are coming yeah subscribe to this channel so that uh, when we are up with this beautiful con uh, uh, contents from various uh, aspects of life, you'll be able to enjoy it. Of course, uh, also, um, uh, some inspiration program will also be coming here. Just be ready, sit up, put your seat belts, and join us as we, as we start the ride very soon. So, okay, for now, let's call it uh, a day from Prime Media Studio, Lagos, uh, Nigeria. You have a beautiful day ahead.